Hi friends! It's Carly and I'm back again with another video review of some Marvel Legends figures that I got. I hope everybody's doing well out there and that your time in isolation isn't driving you too nuts. Um, toy hunting has been kind of crazy, but I have been able to complete a few projects I've been working on and I wanted to share them with you. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it live because the internet is crazy here right now, so I'm going to record this and I will upload it and share it to all of you as soon as I'm finished. So with that said, the uh, pieces that I'm going to show you today are from my Thor bath that I was working on, my Fat Thor. and. I'm going to spend most of the time probably talking about Iron Patriot, which was the final piece I was looking for. And I also picked up the Valkyrie, that was a part of the Thor bath, and a new Scarlet Widow figure. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I decided to do it all in one clutch because I'm not going out to hunt right now, and I just thought it would be better to kind of do everything in one fell swoop. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at my Fat Thor. So when I talked about this figure to begin with, let's see if we can get him focused here. Here's the face with no glasses. There go. He's good looking. Um, he's got his, oh my gosh, look at his broken foot. He's got his Crocs on, which are so funny. He's got his bathrobe, his funny pants, and his hoodie, of course. So when I was building this, I was really disappointed in a lot of the figures that came along with it, particularly the Captain America, the Vision, um, the Heimdall, I was really disappointed in. I was waiting on Valkyrie the last time that I posted and I got her and actually I liked her a great deal. Um, her armor is really cool. Here she is. So her um, armor is really sick. I do find it a little bit strange since she is sort of the iteration of Brunhild, which is a super strong and powerful woman, and Valkyrie is as well, that she's a little bit frail. I find that her limbs are very thin. Um, this is something that I see with a lot of Marvel Legends figures on the female characters. It's something I noticed with my cuckoos, and it's something that I notice on this Black Widow figure, is that there is no substantial muscle mass to them. But, um, you know, feminizing an action hero is a little bit difficult challenge, I imagine, so I, ca I can forgive that, um, but she really sort of does feel like she's going to blow away. She has this incredible badass armor on, and we know that she's a badass character, but there's just no, subs you know, substantive uh, mass to her body. But that's really the only complaint. Of all of the figures in this series, um, Valkyrie and Iron Patriot, which is probably my favorite figure that I have right now. Um, look at him, you guys. He is so stunning. He's so perfect. Everything about him really makes up for every single other figure that um, I was disappointed in. So, sorry, I'm trying to block my face and also try to look at the same time. So here's a good look at his armor, his accessories, the paint job is incredible. He's got that awesome um, sort of pearlized metallic paint job. Um, he is very weighty. Like my other, you can see my other war machine back here. Um, there is a heft to this figure. He's actually very flexible as well. Um, the joints are stiff, but he has multiple um, points of articulation in his knees, surprisingly enough in his feet and ankles, um, in his arms. His shoulders only go up one. There are some specific limitations that we're going to just run into because of the heft and bulk of his armor. For instance, let me take off his peripherals here and I can show you his head a little bit. Um, so he really only has sort of a nod like up and down like this. And it's not very far and he doesn't turn very much. This is obviously because of the heft here in his shoulders. This is the only thing that I can criticize about this figure. Um, he just looks absolutely amazing. The color is vibrant. His body is 
well sculpted everything about it is just perfect as hard as it was to get this figure and it ended up being um really expensive because it's still not available on hasbro pulse and i just needed it um it's worth it it's totally worth it to me he does have really flexible hands which is really nice although i am disappointed that he has his two weapons that you could use as guns in his hands and only one of his hands is open and poised for a weapon if you can see that so you could put a gun in this hand but not in this one and i think that's a little bit short-sighted again these are very minor very minor issues with this figure it is my favorite figure that i have right now and that includes dr doom um these war machine figures just can't be beat so the next time they have one i'm picking it up i recommend everybody does ones that i don't have i'm going to be looking for um there just really isn't a more satisfying sort of um yeah, there just isn't a more satisfying Marvel Legends figure, I feel like, out there right now. So this made the whole hunt for Fat Thor worth it. And although some people said that I would be disappointed in Fat Thor, I'm really not. Um, here is his uh, Lebowski head is what I'm calling it. So there's his Lebowski look, which I actually might use for a custom to make a Lebowski. If there were any way to get these parts, I would just make a Lebowski out of him because he's so close to that look already. He really does sort of look just like Lebowski. Um, and then there is Stormbreaker, which is, you know, flimsy, not great. I will never use this. Probably I'll save it for something else. Um, but I was happy with the way that he looked. And I felt like this was such an iconic movie in the MCU stories that not having him would would really suck and he contributes to my collection i'm happy to have him it was kind of a frustrating journey but having these three figures that i am really happy pretty happy with incredibly over the moon happy with um makes it all worthwhile so this was a good experience overall if you guys have an opportunity to pick any of these figures up or get the bath pieces i recommend it the build was satisfying in the end and um if you have any opportunity to pick up this Iron Patriot, it is worth it. Do that. So, yay. These are done. I'm moving on. What I'm working on now is my MCU Thanos, and that's ending up being a little bit even crazier than this one, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. So next, I was able to pick up one of the new Black Widow figures. So I really appreciate... Um, that with the launch of the Black Widow movie that's coming up, the MCU Black Widow, that they are releasing some comic book versions of the character as well. I think it's a really smart choice. For me personally, I'm not a Black Widow fan specifically, um, but, and I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion and I apologize for it, as much as I love the MCU movies, Scarlett Johansson is the wrong choice for that character for me. She just has this dead look on her face, she has no expression. Um, it just it, it's very hard for me to get past her exterior and I was really afraid that all of the toys were gonna have that sort of glassy dead-eyed look to them but this figure is actually really stunning I love the way that she looks um, this is you know she sort of while she still looks steely and sort of like hardcore like you would want to spy to she has this fire in her eyes which is really important i think to the character and where the scarlett johansson version misses for me because you know black widow was trained um to work for the kgb but she when she was rescued or when she was spared when her life was spared she turned and started fighting for the good guys because of her heart she has a fire inside she has um you know a lot of like I don't know, all I can think of is like gumption, which is the worst possible word, but she has spirit, she has fire. So she's not just this like cold hard killing machine. And I think there are a lot of ways that an actress or an actor could portray that. And I just feel like it sort of falls short in the movies. But this figure on the other hand, I feel like her expression captures all of that. The spirit of someone who was trained for a life with the KGB, but recognized a better way and used her skills to do that instead. So I really like the facial sculpt, the paint on this, the vibrant red hair, her vibrant red eyebrows and lips. I love the way that that looks. Um, 
Marvel Legends female characters frequently have this belt that um, I love having a belt askew like that on my shelf so I appreciate why they keep it loose like that but the problem is that it doesn't like really anchor to the hips very well so no matter what you do if you touch it it just sort of pops back up and everybody I know that collects these has had that experience so that's something you just get used to you can pose however you want to and um, make it work but that's a little frustrating for me I think that maybe they should make these detachable rather than just stuck on here so that you can adjust them the way that you want um she has her what are these called widow bites and I like that they're gold I like the way that they look. We haven't seen those on the MCU character since I think back in Iron Man. I feel pretty confident she doesn't rock those all the time. So um, this is pretty cool to see. And obviously when we see the Red Room story in the movie that's coming up, we'll get to see the origin of all of her um, gear and her skill sets and everything. But um, on a comic book one it's nice to have all of that already put together for us she also like my war machine that I just showed has that it's gonna be hard to tell on camera but that pearlized sort of metallic look to her suit which I really like I think it gives her sort of a armored look even though obviously she's just in a bodysuit um, something else that kind of bugs me about uh, I don't even know if I want to talk about this, but I'm going to. Something that kind of bugs me about the way that Hasbro does these Legends figures, women especially, is that, um, and I understand that these figures are for ages four and up, but they do tend to scale down on female characters, uh, their breasts and their hips, which you can see here. She's very narrow and very sort of flat chested, which for me, gives her kind of an adolescent body whereas she is a, an athlete and she's an adult woman so the tendency i understand why they do that we don't really need to discuss all of that i understand why they try to make them maybe seem a little bit less sexualized when they're children's toys but for me there isn't really anything inherently sexual about breasts and hips um and i do think it's strange that this adult woman who is an athlete as well sort of is has a body of like a very uh prepubescent sort of teen girl um i just that doesn't read for me i feel like she would be stronger i feel like you know there's um let's see my i don't want to take her down but my hulk here is the best female body that i've seen on a marvel legends figure and i would like to see my spy my natasha who is just a normal woman um you know she did have the serum that sort of like uh, Captain America's but for the most part she's just a normal human who has worked her body had her body worked I would like to see her a little bit bulkier a little bit stronger so that's the only thing that sort of like hits weird for me about her um, this particular figure that I have she has double jointed knees she has very flexible ankles um, all of the points of articulation are there and there are many of them she is strangely enough very stiff on the left side arms and legs and very loose on the right side arms and legs and I know that's just a production thing um she has let's see if I can get this to focus uh her thighs turn like we're used to seeing uh the she has the two bend in the knee she has the very flexible foot it's focusing on my face again um, so her foot goes all the way back, all the way forward, all the way around. Her arms go all the way up. And she has two bends in her elbow. And then her hand turns all the way around. She did not come with additional hands. She came with these accessories. She has three guns. One, two, three. And some um, ballistics type accessories. I kind of would have liked to see her come with more weapons, more interesting, a variety of weapons, but what can you do? There is the MCU uh, pack version of the character with a ton of ballistics type accessories that I haven't picked up and may not because it's MCU. But um, yeah, I really like this figure. I think she's good looking. I One of the things I really love about the MCU and about Marvel Legends is that Characters that I haven't been traditionally into, like um, Black Widow, 
I am interested in now. So I want to read about her and check out her books. I'm going to be doing that since, you know, one of the bright sides of this weird thing that's going on right now is that I'll have time to sit at home and read. So I'm going to be ordering some of her books. I'm going to be learning more about the character. And I'm really stoked to have this on my shelf. I think that this character um, or this figure is definitely worth picking up. I'm going to be, um, when I get the chance to go out, when things get a little bit less dicey, checking out in store the other figures and seeing how I feel about them before I purchase. They're not all necessarily a for sure thing for me. So we will see how I feel once I look at them and if I'm going to be reviewing any more of these or not. But as for this figure, I can highly recommend her. Um, besides the little production things that sort of I see on a lot of female characters, it's a really satisfying figure. Um, and I don't think that her facial sculpt, again, can be beat. I think she looks so good. And the way that you would want and expect your Black Widow to look. So I hope that this was a satisfying conclusion for you all to my Fat Thor story. I hope you liked seeing Black Widow and I am going to keep doing my best to get toys. There might be fewer of these right now, but there might be more of other types of videos because I am going to be reading a lot lately. So um, yeah, I hope that everybody's doing really well and I will have another video as soon as possible. Thanks guys. Have a good day.